imagine having a a mustached, six foot tall private investigator kicking down your door one night, telling you you're gonna draw for him? Oh, I uh, actually started doing storyboards with Dick Montana at a funeral for uh, my mother. Uh, there was some just some jackasses, like some college kids, that were filming something, you know, a couple of grave spots over. And um, I went over there, you know, tears in my eyes, tried to tell them to be quiet because this is my mom's funeral. And um, that's when I got the offer, actually, to do the storyboards. So I was like, great, when do I start? And uh, that's really how it began. Do I use any specific style for Dick Montana? No, no. Uh, Dick Montana, as a character, um, his style is not to have a style. He doesn't play by any rules. So I tried to incorporate that, that, incorporate that into my artwork. Um, how much time I spent on Dick Montana? Um, I tried to pace myself, really. Uh, your average, you can sketch at a board, you know, a couple minutes, but to actually do a final board, it uh, takes, you know, hours, so I'll spend about uh, six hours a day, uh, five days a week, drink on the weekends, and then uh, start over again Monday. Uh, well, I originally wrote a song about my dead mother, but uh, I had all the lyrics all written out about how she's dead and uh, she had uh, testicular cancer. It was terrible. But I found out later that she wasn't dead, so I had to change the whole song, make it all happy like, and then I had to make it like more flow with the music. And I changed the whole lyrics, so it became a song about police like running around in weird sideburns and blurry pants. Uh, Dick Montana, yeah, he's touched my life quite a bit. He's touched a few things, but my life, on the grand point and like the grand scheme of all of this, he pretty much made me marry my wife and have eight kids with her. But obviously that was a mistake. So he had to get me a job to write music for him, and that's how I pay for the diapers. And actually, my kid was wearing adult diapers for like three months. It was kind of baggy. Things were seeping out, but. I got it all like cleaned up after a while and like one time my wife spilled some soap on the floor and I, I accidentally hit her. Like it was an accident completely. But I didn't know like the bitch was just she didn't need to be there, okay? She was she just needs to be like washing shit without soap, because it's that's bullshit. She should just not even make messes like and then I was in the bathtub, right? And she like I couldn't find a drain plug and like there's a big ring around the shit because I'm like a filthy mother. I didn't really, like, understand. So I ate some soup, like, later in the day. <laughs> uh, about this show, I think it's gonna be good. Uh, because they got, they got a lot of guys that look like they're from the 70s, but they're not. Which is a crazy thing, because this is 2006. Um, I don't know how he pulled that off. Like, at first I thought, like, the flare pants and the hair was just a little much, and the mustache. But when he told me the title, Dick Montana, I knew like any any show with the title Dick in the name is gonna be good. You know. <laughs>